I'm talking to adults in this video. This is not a pediatric video. This is the stuff that people lose their teeth yeah. as a result of, right? We came up with this list of 10 mistakes people are making while brushing your, your teeth. Have you done any of these things? I did most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I did most of them, but I did fix them. So that's all that matters. So should anyone feel bad watching this video? No, not at all. I'm pretty sure we all went through this and no one's gonna judge. Just, you just have to start from here. I love it, I love it. By the end of this video, I guarantee your teeth and your gums will thank you. This may put you out of business. Put me out of business. We'll have to find other careers. What do you wanna do? <laughs> I want to go into acting. Bruh. I'll open up a cafe. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want to go into acting? Yeah, we might have to be roommates. Uh, no. To save money. No, not with you. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh, before we get started, really exciting news for me. For you? For me, because I help design what I think is the next generation of electric toothbrushes. This toothbrush? Yeah. This is the Life and Wave. Almost every feature that they came out with, we had a discussion about. Mm. So they incorporated, which I really appreciate, they incorporated all the feedback from dentist perspective. So this is like a dentist made product. Wait, it's so pretty. Like the design is so nice. <laughs> Mr. Aesthetic. Okay. So let's get started. Number 10 mistake. Is brushing side to side which is this motion. It looks familiar. It looks familiar because most people do it, no? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with doing the side-to-side -side brushing? Well, at first, it damages your gum, which can lead to gum recession. And then second, you need to follow, follow the BAS technique, which is 45 oh, degrees. such a dental student. Thank you, thank you. I learned from you. Oh, wow. wow, wow. <laughs> Brush away from the gum line. So important. Perfect. I couldn't have said any better. If you're using an electric brush, you need to be able to change the vibration speed or intensity because some of these electric toothbrushes are way too abrasive for their own good. What I love about the LifeN Wave is that it's the first brush to do the oscillation and vibration up to 60 degrees. You can actually change it on your app. Oh, there's an app for it There's too. an app for it, guys. Let me show you this. It is so cool. This is so sick. So on this app, you can control 10 intensities. Check this out, you're a nerd, so you're gonna appreciate this. Oh. I'm going higher on the oscillation oh. range. Wait, <laughs> that's so Ooh. Cool. Okay, mistake number nine. It's brushing right after eating. When you brush immediately after, your, your mouth may be at a pH lower than 5.5. What's significant about the pH of 5.5? Well, if it's below 5.5, your teeth is in a phase of demineralization. So ideally, you will wait about how many minutes? Like 30 minutes? Yeah, it's about half an hour. Yeah. Drink some water. Mm -hmm. You can use alkaline mouth rinses mm -hmm. to try to neutralize the acids. Yeah, try to give yourself that amount of buffer so that the mouth can go back up to mm -hmm. normal levels. Mistake number eight people are making. Is brushing too many times a day. Another surprising thing, right? Mm -hmm. What's yeah. the problem with brushing too many times? Well, first it can damage your gums and your nail. I actually used to brush like five times a day because mm. I'll feel uncomfortable and not clean going out without brushing my teeth. What's something else that people can do to feel clean or to uh, freshen up before? You can use oral mouth, mouth rinse. Yeah, or rinse with water. And sugar-free gum. Sugar-free gum. Cool. Mm. This is a good one. Using a hard or medium bristle. One of the biggest mistakes. Why would anyone use a medium or hard bristle in the first place? Well, in my case, I thought I was gonna get rid of more plaque effectively mm. and get rid of the stains, whiten my teeth. And I just felt cleaner after. If there's any concern that an extra soft or soft bristle is not cleaning effectively, you can dispel that myth. You just have to use the right technique. And especially with people with existing gum recession, it's important to use extra soft. Even with extra soft, you have to be careful. Mm. Even if you brush manually, you have to be careful. Wait, that's gold. This is gold. I'm glad that you distinguish between people who have it, mm -hmm. who have existing gum recession. They might not even be good candidates yeah, for electric. electric toothbrushes. So extra soft manual, if you have existing gum recession, if you're uncertain, ask your dentist. And if you're concerned about gum recession or getting it, you should also check that 
your electric toothbrush is not too abrasive. Oh, yes. I learned the hard way that my precious Oral-B that I used in dental school because I got it for free was responsible for a lot of the canine recession that I have. I wish you can feel the difference yeah. because soft is not equal across the board. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference. That's the Oral-B. My, my microphone broke, so I'm using it. <laughs> this is the Oral-B. This is the Leifen. You can customize 1 through 10 on the intensity. I like this one. It's so much softer. Yeah. So find an electric brush that works for you. You don't have to use this one, but you have to make sure that it's not too abrasive. Mm -hmm. um, number six. Actually, inadvertently, we covered number six. Oh. Which was not checking your brush settings or being too aggressive with yes. your brush. Next is rinsing with water after brushing your teeth. Oh, I think it's common for everyone to just... It's surprising. Yeah. It's like a fun trivia fact, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, what's wrong with rinsing right after brushing? Well, you're getting, getting rid of all the fluoride and their benefits. Yeah. So what does the fluoride do to your teeth? So your enamel, it's made out of hydroxyapatite crystals. And when there are holes, that's when the fluoride comes in and incorporates like the barrier. Oh, you've been studying. Oh, okay, okay. No, beautifully said. That's why after dental visits, like after your cleanings, they put on your fluoride varnish. Right, and they need some yeah. time to stick there. Mm -hmm. Next one. Changing your brush heads. Or not changing your not brushes. Not changing your brush heads. I know many bros whose same toothbrush has, I've been, I've been counting. I, I, I know some people too. You'll change it for them. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be like the opposite of a robber. Mm -hmm. Steal their It's a brush. gift for them. Change it every three months. If you're changing your bed sheets, you should be changing your. Mm -hmm. I hope people are changing their bed sheets. Some people don't. <laughs> Maybe we'll make a <laughs> video about bed hygiene. <laughs> All right, um, next one. My favorite. Let's emphasize the tongue scraping because yeah. I think this is what the channel is built on. It's like going to bed with your socks on or like your jacket on, basically. That's very strange. Yeah. So yeah, the code of bacteria. Um, I I go pretty far back. It's like a challenge for me. Stick this as far back into your throat and scrape forward. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, it's like aggressive scraping. I want to get everything off here. You sh you're stressed? Yeah, a little bit. So this is a stress reliever it too. Is, it is. Plastic, stainless steel? I use stainless steel. Do you use crack plastic? I should switch over. Okay. I'll, I'll use a steel. Okay. <laughs> you have to floss every day. It's not optional. I'm talking to adults in this video. This is not a pediatric video. This is the stuff that people lose their teeth yeah. as a result of, right? Mm -hmm. You can get calculus, which is hardened plaque sitting underneath your gum line, ability under teeth, tooth can pop out. It's a cascade of events that you can prevent. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not just us being annoying. It's really helpful to floss. Mistake number two. Keeping your toothbrush six feet away from your toilet. I don't even know if my bathroom is six feet wide. Mine's not either. If you, so have, if you have the luxury of keeping your toothbrush more than six feet away, you might be rich. Yeah. Mine's like so close to the sink. What can you do to prevent fecal matter splashing onto <laughs> your toothbrush? It's easy, just close your toilet lid. Yeah, it takes less than a second. True, it's just that people aren't, aren't used to it, that's why. So they're just flush. Well, you can be used to it now. And the last one, it's a bonus because so many people ask about it. Oh, whitening, charcoal toothpaste. I love that people are eager about yeah, yeah. dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. The problem with charcoal is that it's not regulated right now. Not regulated. Yeah, so it could be more abrasive than another brand mm -hmm. of charcoal. If we're recommending something that could be harmful, that's, you know, mm -hmm. that's kind of unethical. Yeah. So we want to make sure that there's some safety before we can say, hey, this is both effective and safe. Mm -hmm. Take for example, lemon juice. Oh. Right? So like, yeah, that could be effective for a short term. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you know, you're using acidity, but is it safe? It's not safe for now. No. Wait, Sungi. Yes? Let's do an unboxing. 
Oh, the toothbrush? <gasps> so yeah, this is actually my gift to you. What? Yes. This is brand new. This is a debut. This is a debut on this brush. I was actually gonna steal that one. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna box it. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it does not look like a toothbrush. Wait, I like the size of it because it's so like, it's perfect for travel. There's a charger. What's this? <gasps> wow. 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 One question that I had for the team was, if you are generating up to 66,000 vibrations a minute, which is a lot, can it technically hurt the gums? Is it too powerful? But then that's where the soft, paper, very thin bristles came into play. Because they're using more vibrations, they don't have to use as hard of material. So it actually balances out. You can see how excited I am. If you made it all the way here, thank you for watching, you're the real MVP. Stay tuned for more dental content. Comment below with what you'd like us to cover and share what you learned with your friends so we can all improve our oral health.